Now what I want to do is uh, I want to come in and, and kind of template this out. So we're going to clean up this index.php a little bit. So let's come back over here to the Atom CMS project and right click on it. And do new folder. And we're just going to call this folder template. And then we're going to create a couple of files in here. And uh, the first thing we're going to create is the um, uh, a file to hold the navigation. So let's right click on here, do new file. And we'll call this navigation.php. And this kind of takes on the same uh, principle as what we were doing with the functions in the last video where uh, we want to be able to use things more than once. Now we may not want to use the navigation more than once on a page, but uh, if we end up having to create more than just the index.php, if we need to create a couple other pages you know, that maybe have a different layout to the page, we're still going to want to hold on to that navigation and we don't want to have to edit it on every page. Why not put it into its own file and only have to edit it once? So that's what we're going to do here. So let's go ahead and take this entire navigation here from uh, 20 to 34 and cut that out. Then hop over to navigation.php, do a control V and paste that in. And we'll go ahead and save this. And then of course we need to make sure we include that here. So do some PHP tags, then include, and then template, slash, navigation, then semicolon, and close that PHP tag. So we'll go ahead and tab that out. And let's do the same for the footer. So let's go over here to template, right click, new file, we'll call this footer.php. Hop back to index and let's select all of this from uh, 33 to 39. Cut that out. Do a control V for paste. Save that. Hop back over to index and uh, just go ahead and copy line 21 here, save time, and go down here to say line 33 and paste that. And then let's go ahead and change this uh, navigation to footer and save. So let's just make sure that everything's still running smooth and go to our page and refresh. Everything's good. So if, if everything wasn't good, Maybe we had a typo here with uh, navigation. Save that. We're going to get a PHP error saying that it can't find that file. So if you're seeing that, then uh, odds are you've probably got a typo or something. Now let's take this uh, one step further here, and let's go ahead and take advantage of our, our constant variables. So let's hop back over to setup. So we're going to use what's called a constant or a constant variable to hold the name of the template folder. So before the functions here, hit enter a couple times in your setup file. And uh, constant variables are created a little different. Define. And we need to give it the um, variable name and the value. And generally the, the variable names are all caps. We're going to do D for directory or folder underscore template. Then we need to do comma and then a value. And the value is going to be template. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So what we can do with this constant now, save this, come back over to our index.php and we can go ahead and take the word template off of here and we're going to concatenate so before 
we do the uh, the string slash navigation dot php. We're gonna do d underscore template dot. You now constants don't have the dollar signs. They stand alone. Now this may look like a little bit more writing than needed. Uh, and that's true. But again, following these same principles, we are going to save time. If for some reason you want to maybe test out a different template or a different set of the navigation footer and whatever, um, but you don't want to get rid of your template folder because that holds your original one, um, you could go ahead and come into, you could create another folder called maybe template underscore new. And then if you want that to work on your entire site, you just need to come in here to set up and change the folder name. And then that's automatically going to place it in all the places it needs to go. So maybe overkill in this situation, but uh, I wanted to show you an example of constants because we're going to use them further on down the road. So let's go ahead and just copy this. And we'll take out template down here as well. And paste that and make sure we do our period or dot for concatenating. And save. And then let's just make sure everything's working smooth. And there you go, it is.